Welcome back to Fan Mail, where I answer your questions, display submissions, and anything else that we might find. First up, just a quick status update on my next project, Spartans Omega Halo. Body acting sessions have been very successful, and I'm happy to say that all of the body acting for Spartans Omega Halo has been completed. I want to extend a big thank you to everyone who helped. A lot of work was done, and I really appreciate it. Remember, I can't do this without you guys. You are so important to all of these productions. If you still want to body act, though, I will have a lot of future projects coming up. There are a couple ways you can contact me about it if you're interested. You can message me, join my body acting group on Xbox Live, or use the Discord link in the description to get in touch with me about it. Also, I want to mention that after an unfortunate incident with the last episode of Fan Mail, I will give out a spoiler warning at the beginning of each episode. Again, to YouTube user Keen Folk, I am so sorry for spoiling Odd Men Out Season 2 for you last time. That shouldn't have happened and was unthinking of me. And now for the warning. This episode contains potential spoilers for Spartans Generation, the original Spartans, and by extension, Spartans Omega Halo. Anyway, it's about time we got to the fan mail. And to help me with it and answer some of your questions, I have a special guest today. Coming all the way from Omega Halo itself and using a special body I built just for this appearance, it's the former Monitor 1167 Humble Guardian. Hello, humanity! Thanks for turning up. Welcome to fan mail, Guardian. How's the body? Pretty great. Moves well. It's not like it's a hint at what's to come in future productions or anything. Certainly not. Shall we begin with the questions? We shall. Excellent! Our first question is from Knight 712 Hey Chronicler! Would you play on making stop-motion animation? Actually, I had thought about doing it using Bionicles in the past. Unfortunately, during my initial tests I found that I had neither the patience nor attention to detail required for truly good stop-motion. I think my strength lies in machinima and I'm happy to keep it there for now. However, I do love stop-motion films and have a great respect both for them and the people who slave away making them. It is a fantastic art. You, you know, know, the, the Forerunners had a version of stop-motion stop animation. animation. Really? Yeah, but it got lost with the rest of their art when they went extinct. But I remember their best artist. Bim Forever Makes Perfection Turton. He was called Bim for short. Or Bim Turton for somewhat short. He made such enterprising films as Nightmare's Preluding Holiday and Man Possessing Scissors for Fingers Named Edward Rising Star. Are we hitting the nail too hard on the head here? Maybe. Let's check the next fan mail. Good idea. Next one is for my buddy That Clumsy Guy. He has a question, a custom screenshot, and some fan art. Let's see the screenshot. It's titled Saul's Last Stand, based off the original Spartans but created in the Halo 4 engine. Very nicely done. I like seeing this scene done in Halo 4. Man, this takes me back. I shot that scene around eight years ago. So that's how we went out. Catherine told me the story, but I wasn't there to see it myself. What a fate. Saul is truly a hero, and heroes are never forgotten. Okay, let's see the art. It has a tag that says, I wouldn't be surprised if a scenario like this happened during their time in the canyon. Joey, help, I'm melting! Leo, Tyler's on fire again. <laughs> yes, I can certainly see that happening. I love that you drew this yourself. It looks great and gave me a good laugh. Now for the question. Are you ever going to do something similar to Tales of the Reach trilogy again? It was always interesting to see perspectives of other characters. Yes, actually. I have something just like that planned for the future. Hopefully we'll see it next year. But I can't talk about it now. Too many spoilers. Okay, next up we have some fan mail from Ren GR. Bring back Kestrel Chronicles. Oh man, Kestrel Chronicles. I remember that. I think I deleted all the episodes because they were stupid as hell. Kestrel, Kestrel Chronicles? Chronicles? Yeah, back in the Halo 3 and Reach days, me and a buddy of mine called Kestrel would go around on Xbox Live and do stupid shit. Unfortunately, I eventually lost contact with Kestrel and later down the line I decided that the videos were clogging up my channel, so I deleted them. They never got very many views or comments. I had no idea anybody missed them or would talk about them. Sorry, Ren, but the original video files are long gone and I don't see any more episodes ever happening. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Next up, we have two questions from Hero Gameplays. How do you get noticed on YouTube? That's a good question. Okay, the next question oh, is... Oh, stop, stop being bitter. bitter. He deserves a better answer than that. Oh, okay, fine. The only thing that I can suggest is just keep posting content and keep improving it with every upload. That's all I did. Of course, a certain amount of it is up to luck, but your effort matters as well. Now, the next question. If you could have three things happen in Halo 6, what would they be? 
Well, first I'd have the reveal that Cortana isn't Cortana, it's Didact using a cover to gain the allegiance of human AI so he can take over. Because that would make so much more sense! Next I'd have Master Chief keep using his Halo 4 armor because it's better looking than the Halo 3 armor. Last I would delete the entire campaign of Halo 5. You're, You're still, still being bitter. bitter. This bitterness is deserved. Fair enough. Next we have some fan mail from a special Yeti. Shoot me. No, your life is valuable. Death is not the way. Now a question from Epsilon. What's your inspiration for Machinima? My introduction to Machinima was Red vs. Blue, but Arby and the Chief really stoked the fires. I credit those two for giving me my interest in Machinima. I like Arby and the Chief more, but I've always had a soft spot for Red vs. Blue, as you can no doubt tell by a certain series I made. He, he might, might be, be talking, talking about your inspiration, inspiration for, for certain, certain projects. projects. Oh, well, I get inspiration here and there. Some are obvious, like Bikeron having influence from Alien and Dead Space, and Ottoman Out being like Red vs. Blue. For other stuff, I get influence from random places, and sometimes ideas just pop into my head. Sounds, Sounds like, like a process. A process. <laughs> it can be. Now we have some fan mail from Alakaran13. Boy! Boy! Now we have more questions from my buddy Justin. For Guardian. How difficult was it to get used to human company? For Gabe. Dude, why are you always so moody? For Chronicler. You've been making machinimas since the Halo 3 days, and have created tons of original stories through your many shows. So I have to ask, out of everything you've created, what's your personal favorite machinima series? Oh, good questions. I love good questions. Well, well Justin, Justin, it did, it did take, take a minute. minute. See, See, unlike the, the Forerunners, humanity doesn't have a collective stick up its ass. ass. The intricacies and quirks of human interaction was difficult to get used to, but I found myself enjoying it. The Forerunner society was stagnant for thousands of years. Everyone was born and locked into their roles, and your role basically defined you. With humans, there's so many variations and differences to each culture, each style, each individual, and it used to surprise me. I'd find out the way one human liked to be talked to, try it on someone else, and find myself failing completely. So, yes, it took a while to get used to, and it was a challenge, but I feel like I've grown for it as an AI. And meeting people like Catherine and Zack and Sergeant Denver has all been worth the ride. I know you never got to meet Gabe, but what do you know about him? Catherine told me a lot about Gabe 406. She said that initially she fought with him, but once they figured out that they'd been through very similar experiences, they became much better friends. See, Catherine lost her family at Reach, and saw a lot of squadmates get killed during the end of the Human Covenant War. The Covenant killed Gabe's family too, as well as several of his fellow Marines. That was why he was so rude to Catherine early on. He saw her weaknesses and thought they'd hurt the team because he didn't understand her. Quite the contrary. Their bond ended up being strengthened by their shared loss. Unfortunately, this couldn't last long, as Gabe was killed soon after he and Catherine made up. During the Third War, Catherine said she dwelled a lot on her fellow Spartan force. She missed them greatly, and Gabe was no exception. That's beautiful. What an excellently written pair of characters. Stop fanning your own flames and answer the last question. Right. Well, it's hard to pick a favorite. I really love all my stories. If I really had to pick a favorite, though, I'd say Augment Out. It allows me to have the most variation in writing and direction, and the casting is so damn perfect. It's not the most fun to make due to a vastly larger amount of dialogue scenes, but the end result is so awesome. The series has some of the most heartfelt, make-you-feel moments, and I feel like that's because the characters are more relatable than a Super Soldier Space Marine. Not that Super Soldier Space Marines are bad or anything, of course, it's just that sometimes one needs to touch ground again with a common Joe character like you or me. Odd Man Out has that level of relatability that none of my other series have. Now it's time again for Talent Corner, where a character from one of my stories does or shows something regarding their talents. Today we have the legendary Spartan 4, the hero of Reach herself, Catherine 4-04. Hello. Good to see you, Guardian. And, and you, old friend. friend. Catherine, you told me you have a montage for us? Yes. I've been training in the War Games firefight simulations lately. I compiled some of my best kills into a video and overlaid some music. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you... you made a gaming montage? Yes. I thought it would be fun. Why? Oh, oh this I gotta, I gotta see. see. Play it! Roll film! Alright now! Oh, sick, 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 sick,
my god, this is amazing. Shh, I'm listening to the beat. Tick, 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 boom. That was awesome! Excellent choice of music, too. I like to get funky. I had no idea she could cut loose like that. Looks like our next bit of fan mail is from Drake. So I want to say as I appreciate you, Isaiah, and people who still make machinima, you make me feel like I'm part of a small community that still have a passion for making video games on films, and I am thankful that you're still going to be making machinima. It's always good to hear from you, Drake. I do what I can to help keep the machinima community going strong. Just remember, without fans like you, we wouldn't be around at all. Hey, there's an image attached. Oh, I see. With a tag. Now here's some roast. That face you get when you can't get out of your machinima contact. I swear to God I'm trying to figure this one out. I think he meant... I think he meant contract? Oh, uh, well, it's a good thing I don't do contracts then. Soul-robbing pieces of paper. Yuck. Now we have some fan mail from Showery Dragoon. Hi, Chronicler. I do have some questions. How was it like when you were creating the original Spartans Machinima? Who will voice the Shipmaster in SOA? And last question is for Guardian. What Forerunner AIs have you met before? If so, who? Also, I want to show you and the fans some test scenes I did made for the Machinima just in case. That's pretty much what I have to say, and always, have a great and fantastic day, Chronicler, and I'll see you later. Just some background for you guys. Dragoon is assisting with CGI animation overlays for Spartans Omega Halo. While Pute08 is in charge of creating scenes from scratch as he did from Lifebringer, Dragoon is in charge of augmenting certain scenes created with the game engine. His talents are proving extremely valuable right now. He can also create entire scenes himself though, and his reel is a good example of that. Let's see it. Nice work! Indeed! Now for the questions. I made the original Spartans about nine years ago, so my memory's a little fuzzy, but I do remember some things. Spartans was largely a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants sort of project. See, the first script I actually wrote was for Bikeron, the following project. With Spartans, I kind of just did stuff and formed a story out of a general idea. It got a bit better by the end, with episodes 12 through 14 being pretty okay in my opinion, but... Eh, yeah, I wasn't very good at stuff back then. There was some exciting, unprecedented things, though, like huge battle scenes and using a modded game type to get Forge capabilities in Free For All Slayer. That was cool. As for the Shipmaster, he will be voiced by Hugh Verhulihugibagabaga, aka Megalodon302, who has also voiced Commander Harper in Spartan's Generation and Butler in Oddman Out Season 2. I, I feel, feel like you aren't pronouncing his name right. right. Regarding my question, Dragoon, I met all the other monitors before we left for our Halo rings. And yes, Guilty Spark was always a bit of a nut. Then again, I guess I was too before I was reverse engineered for the UNSC. What did you do during your hundred thousand years of isolation? Not much. Lost my Sentinels to the Flood. Failed to contain their outbreak. Talked to myself a lot. Oh, hey, I talked to myself a lot too. You do? Yeah, I'm doing it this entire episode. Oh, yeah. Next question is for Major Winters. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? The Last Jedi. Okay, but in all seriousness, TLJ is not an objectively bad movie like many would have you believe. It just has flaws like any other movie. Except Empire Strikes Back. However, Empire is not my favorite. My favorite is actually Rogue One. Really? Yep. It's tightly written, the characters are decently fleshed out if you pay attention, and I grew to really like them and I'm always sad when they die. The battle scenes were awesome, especially Scarif, which may be the best battle in Star Wars history. And the musical score is excellent as well. I mean, all Star Wars scores are like uh, A++++++ material anyway, so that's a given. But I'm especially impressed by Rogue One's because it wasn't done by our Lord and Savior John Williams, but by Michael Giacchino, and was just as good as Williams' scores. That's a hell of an achievement. Our next question is from Bloodlust. So, from what I can tell from the occasional video you post between projects, you like to have fun while working on the projects. 
Is there any possibility that we may see more short videos from you occasionally while we wait for major projects? You're absolutely right, Bloodlust. I really do enjoy making those products, and uh, so do you guys, apparently, or at least seeing them. So, yeah, I think I'll keep doing that. At the very least, just to let you guys know that I'm not dead. I know it can be a while between major products. They, they do take a very long time to make. But hopefully you guys will be entertained if I keep adding on to this shitposting playlist. I mean, that last one was pretty well received. Okay, I think that's all the fan mail we have today. Thanks again to everyone who submitted. I really appreciate you guys so much. Remember, if you have questions, comments, submissions, roasts, anything for me or any of my characters, just send them on down to chronicler177 at gmail.com, or post them in the fan mail channel on my Discord. Again, the Discord link is below in the description. I'm aiming for a December release for Spartans Omega Halo, and currently the project is well on track, so you should see it around then. And I'll see you there! Just remember, I was insane. Don't get too mad at me for what I do. I'll see you guys around. Stay tuned for Spartans Omega Halo. Thank you.